Jacqueline Quinn joins us live from an area known for flooding. Jacqueline, what are you seeing there tonight? Well, it's been about two hours, so luckily it has actually cleared out a bit here, but this is near Southwest First Avenue and Southwest uh, 9th Street. This is an area that people down here are very familiar with because it turns into a waterway. You know, we had a lot of problems down here, especially in June. Uh, but, you know, where we're standing right now, we're standing close to two drains, and I won't point them out. One is a storm drain. The other one is actually, you're going to see the circular lid there uh, to what is a manhole cover to the sewage system. And during those bad events in June, people were popping off the manhole covers and really inundating the system here. So uh, the message right now is when it gets bad, particularly when you see a lot of flooding in your area, don't touch those manhole covers because, you know, while it may go down in your area, it is going to contribute potentially to flooding another street or overwhelming the treatment facility. Earlier, we talked with the director of the Miami-Dade uh, treatment uh, facility, excuse me, the uh, d director of the department, and he explained to us how this is a concern ahead of Ian. Well, they just simply overloaded the facility, and to put it in perspective for you, here in Miami-Dade County, we treat about 300 million gallons a day of sewage. On that day, we were receiving more than 800 million gallons into the system. So that tells you the kind of volumes that we were having to manage, and the plants just couldn't do it. And now, have we been able to do any upgrades, or is this going to be like a 10-year project? I mean, over time, you know, we'll see more and more sewage. Well, the answer is not to make the plants bigger. The answer is to stop allowing the stormwater to mix with the sewage and create more efficient stormwater systems where it will manage the water better. So for this storm, they have lowered the levels even more so realistically they can handle about 600 million gallons and they will have 1,600 people working overtime. Now, this is something similar that they're doing in Broward County where the Southwest Water Management District has lowered the canal to absorb more water. But uh, everyone across the two counties here are stocking up on sandbags, making sure that they can hopefully protect their homes uh, if needed. But the Miami mayor here, Francis Suarez, has also talked about uh, turning on the pumps or making sure that the pumps are installed to avoid some of the problems that we saw back here in June. But we'll have more on flooding issues coming up at 11 tonight. For now, reporting in Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.